Welcome, my friends, to the Bob and Brad podcast, produced by Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. I am Bob, and uh, exactly one half of the Bob and Brad team. And my guest today is Dr. Joseph Allen, a, an optometrist from Minnesota, by the way. And he has a great YouTube channel called Dr. I Held. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about his background, but he's got a lot of great advice for you. If you have one or two eyes, I would check it out. Thanks for watching. If you have trouble sleeping, do you need blue light glasses? We mm. actually had someone on our program who talked about light. So we actually, my daughter got some blue light glasses and it helped her sleep Im uh, immensely. Yeah. It was amazing. I mean, it is, uh, there is, so there is, in the blue light world, there's a lot of blue light glasses and you, maybe you've seen advertisements on this either online uh, or maybe you've heard your doctor talk about it. Right. There are three major discussions about blue light in the eye care world. Uh, and one that has the most scientific validity to it is the effect of sleep cycles. Sure. The retina has a certain cell in it. Uh, the, I want to say, in, uh, it's a very fancy term, uh, but it's an intrinsically like activated photoreceptor or a ganglion cell. Uh, this uh, is more sensitive to light in the blue light zone, but this receptor doesn't necessarily give you eyesight. It speaks to other parts of the brain, primarily on your sleep-wake cycle. So if you are somebody who is constantly being exposed to blue light, whether it be natural from the sunlight or artificial from your computer screen, from bright LED lights in your, uh, in your home or your office, sure. especially after the sun goes down, because right. for how many years our, our species was used to seeing sunlight and then the sun went down and that tells your brain to say, hey, sun's not out. You need to make melatonin, you need to get ready for bed, you need to sleep. Yeah. And now you're just staring at these screens all night. <laughs> right. You're telling your brain, no, the sun is still out. The sun is still out. Uh, and so your brain's not getting that trigger to start producing melatonin the right way. And they have studies on that. They have been able to show that uh, artificial blue light has the ability to reduce and delay melatonin production into the evening. I, I personally always try to advocate, you know, the impossible, which is try to shut off the screens in right. the evening, uh, you know, put away your phone, and maybe that not stare. That includes TV, right? Especially the newer screens, uh, you know, our computer screens, uh, TV screens are all made of the same thing. Now they're all sure. LED plasma screens. Um, right. So uh, that's, that's the challenge is that you know, we're still getting that dose of some blue light exposure. Uh, and most people's indoor lighting is now switching to high efficient LED bulbs, which do have even more blue light exposure than uh, emittance than a lot of standard older um, kind of incandescent lights. Right. So the big thing is number one is prevention is always trying to be mindful, reduce screen time, um, maybe dim the lights that are, or switch your indoor lightings to more of the yellow filter lights in the evening. And there's some lights that do that. You can able to switch it from being more of a blue, vibrant indoor lighting during the day. And then the evening, they kind of dim to kind of the romantic mode. If you've ever been in a sure. restaurant where it's, it's kind of sure. yellow and a little bit dimmer. But then there's blue light glasses and blue light filter glasses, blue light blocking glasses. There's all these different terms for them. These lenses can filter out blue light to some extent. Most are not 100% blue light because there is a beneficial aspect to blue light. It wakes you up in the morning. Sure. And it makes you more alert. So uh, there, there isn't a strong consensus in the medical community yet on the proper amount of um, blue light exposure you want in the morning versus the evening. But uh, whether it be a strong placebo effect or not, a lot of people do claim that the blue light glasses help them, especially for their sleep um, and even eye strain to some degree. So my daughter also uses uh, red bulbs. Mm. Yeah, she's got the glasses and some red bulbs. That... I've heard about that. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, there's some there's some different research in uh, just switching out the light bulbs and right. being better for their sleep and their sleep quality. And sleep yeah, plays such just, a big role. Yeah, just to, in the evening. And maybe it is, again, a placebo, like you said, but it's working right now, so we're, <laughs> we're happy. So, yeah, 